<laughs> Cutting in a shallow bird mouth. Well, if you're building a big boat in your front yard, you probably have a plasma torch, so why not take advantage of it? But you can drill it. Now, if you're gonna start off with aluminum welding with a MIG welder, I only suggest that you start off with, oh, like, quarter inch or three sixteenths inch thick material. This is quarter inch and this is oh, maybe a little under three sixteenths, but makes it a lot easier. You don't burn through. And just do these little dab welds. They're easy to learn. And they also help assure that you don't put too much heat in there and burn through it. Now, these holes being that big will make it easy to put the wiring in, but more importantly than that, I want to keep the unit cool, so this gives it a pathway to circulate some of that heat. It shouldn't be that big a deal anyway. Aluminum is really good about soaking up heat and conducting it to the outside, so... Now, this is lapped over, and when you do that, and you're going to bury it underground, what can happen is if you don't get this weld right, is water gets between these two pieces of aluminum and it never drains away, loses its oxygen, and it starts to poultice corrosion, so it'll rot that piece of aluminum out. So you want this to drain well and not get any water between those seams. So save your best work for where nobody's ever going to see it. <laughs> Okay, I left it on in the sun all afternoon. And heat is not going to be a problem. It's warm, but it doesn't really feel much warmer than what the sun did alone. Now these lights are recessed, and I got one facing up, and I don't want it to collect ice and water in there. So uh, Betsy has a piece of old acrylic out of a picture frame or something. We're going to make a cover out of that. I'm using 3M5200. You ask, why are you using that? Well, it's because it's open. Okay, it's like the tube that just keeps on giving. Uh, lovely. Drill and tap. Little WD-40. And set the clutch down to its lowest setting. And run it in and back it out. Okay. Oh yeah, beautiful. And this is the mount for one of those ring doorbell cameras. Lovely little gadget. All right, we've got a transformer we've got to put into it too. And th the reason we need this is we've got to step down the voltage from uh, regular 115 volt to doorbell voltage, which is 16 to 24, something like that. And that will be used by the ring camera to recharge its battery. So if, if the power goes out, it has a battery. And you can actually charge and replace the battery, but that's kind of a pain. This is a much better way. So first we hook up the two wires to go down to the ring doorbell. And a little more 5200 sealant, we're just going to glue it in. 
as well. Okay, now some wire nuts from ground goes to ground, black goes to black, white goes to white. And final test. Yep. And I want to make sure I got some power coming out of these leads here. Let's see, 17.7 volts AC. And yes, a few dabs of 5200 just to keep them glued in place. Here we go. Somebody's at your best spot. 